Hello and welcome to another episode of Excel Learning Tutorial with Sayed. In this episode, we will try to retrieve information using index function from a specific data set. To follow along with me, please click on the link in the video description to download a working copy of this workbook. On this workbook, I have three worksheets. See it is where I will demonstrate do it is for you to practice and the legend sheet is where we have our data from where we will try to retrieve information. Now if I go back into my seed sheet I need to fetch the information here for shipping cost of different items. Each item is of different size and it needs to be sent to a specific zone and based on these two dimensions I need to fetch the cost information. The cost information is sitting here in the legend data sheet. Here you can see the information about the size is in the rows and information about the zones is in the columns. So with that in mind, I will go back into my seed sheet. I can try two different methods here. First one is use the cell references in the index function. Second is use the name range in the index function. We will see both of them one by one. So to begin, I will type in equal to index in cell d3 the first argument that the function requires is the array where is the data that needs to be checked so here it needs to check in the legend sheet in this data range so before i press comma i will press command t if i am using mac or f4 if i am using windows to lock that data range comma now in the second argument I require to pass the row number. So my row number is right here. The size information that is in the rows. So I will pass that. And in the column number, I will pass the information from C3, that is zone 3. Close the bracket and press enter. So now I have the information about the shipping cost for this item that needs to be sent to this zone. If I go back into my legend sheet, I can see for the item size 2 that needs to be sent to zone 9, the cost is 13.61 and we have exactly that fetched here. I will drag this down so I can fetch the cost of other items on this list. Now let me show you how to do the same thing using a name range. In this one we have used a reference here that is the cell references. So instead of that, I will try to use name range. So to begin, I will first need to give a name to this range. I will select this entire range and I will go into the formulas tab, click on name manager and click on this new button and give it a name. Or I can simply click on the name box on the top left and type in the name of this range. So I am just typing in zones. I will go here into my seed sheet. Now that I have a name range set for that data set, I will start index function again. And in the array, I will now pass the information called zones here. Excel is giving me a hint that it is a name range. I will just select that. What is the row number? The row number is the size information. What is the column number? It is the zone information. Close the bracket, press enter. You can see the same information is fetched, but the formula looks quite readable, quite simplified. So I can just drag this down now and it is going to fetch the information for other zones also. You can try either ways, whichever you're comfortable with. I find the second method more convenient for me. I request you to go into the do it sheet and practice as much as you can. The more you practice, the more you will retain. In the next episode, we will explore more dimensions of Excel. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and click that little bell icon to enable notifications. Thank you and have a very lovely day. See you soon.